Hey guys, I figured since I just filmed the how much does my face cost tag and I have like I'm here my lights are on and the lighting from outside is good that I would just film like a quick vlog. Um, I've been a little bit absent the last week and a half because I've been sick but I've also been homesick and I think I've been homesick ever since I left home and um, if you haven't seen like in any of my past videos I am from Orange County California and we moved to North Carolina a year and a little over a year and a half ago it'll be two years in January but I did have the privilege to spend most of my summer in California and um, I just really miss all of my friends and my family that I have there. And I love the new friends that I've made here. I really do. Um, but it's hard, you know, like I lived in the same place my whole life. Like we moved from one house to the next. Like, so I spent the first 10 years in one house and then the next, like over 10 years. And oh gosh, it was like way longer than 10 years in that house. And um, I was raised by my grandparents, and unfortunately, in the last couple years, I lost them both. Um, and that's really difficult for me to, <clears throat> excuse me, still kind of sick. Um, but it's hard, and fall and like winter is my favorite part time of the year because I love the holidays, and it reminds me of being a carefree kid and being taken care of, and like. The, the weather and the sound of the heater kicking on in our house and just the, just the way it sounded. I always felt that really comforting and I really miss being a kid. I really miss just being at home and cuddling up in my bed and watching TV shows, not having the responsibilities that I have now. And you know, I know as kids we always think that whatever we're going through is the worst possible thing that you could possibly be going through at the time or you know, your crush doesn't like you so it's the end of the world. And, um, but God, I would love to have that back, like in comparison to the things that we have to, to deal with as adults. And, um, you know, I don't get to have that. I don't even get to be in the house that I grew up in. I don't get to have that comfort. Um, and that's hard. Somebody else is living in that house right now and I don't like it, you know? And, um, I would really love to go back, but I have made like, enough um, ties here that it would be really hard for me to choose <clears throat> and we've talked about moving back <clears throat> sorry we've talked about moving back and it's it is difficult it's it would be harder for us financially um, living where we lived was really expensive I get frustrated because I am territorial and like I was born in Orange County, I was born and I was raised there, and I kind of feel like this is my state, gosh darn it, like I am a true Californian and all these people want to live there and that makes it really expensive to live. I mean, the cost is astronomical and, um, you know, I have friends that still live there that still can't buy a house even though they've been saving for years and years because it's just so hard to do so and you don't really get a whole lot for your money either and um you know right now like we can afford for me to be a stay-at-home mom which is what I've always wanted and what my husband has, has always wanted and to go back to California would really compromise a lot of that but at the same time I really miss it so I'm not sure what we're gonna do um, in the long run like where our lives will lead us but um when I lived in California, I would go to a women's retreat with the church and I absolutely loved it. Every October we would go and I loved going and just being kind of like bummed out and just really missing home, missing friends, my husband and I decided that I could go this year. So I'm actually, it's this coming weekend, so I'm going to fly back to California. I'm only going to be there for a few days. And the hard thing is I'm not even going to be like where I um, lived because we'll be going to the mountains. So I'll fly in, I'll see my dad for a little while, um, and then I'll go to my best friend's house, stay the night there, and then the next morning we'll be driving a couple hours to where we are staying. And then we'll come back on Sunday 
um, I'll get a little bit more time with my dad, hopefully my brother, and that night, like, I'll fly back here. So, it's kind of like, oh, I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna get to be home home, you know, but I am just excited to be around um, people that I love, even if it's for a short period of time. I don't think we're gonna be able to go back for the holidays, which is gonna be really hard on my heart. Um, it's it is it's it's hard and I tried filming this video earlier and I started to cry so I'm like yeah I'm just gonna start all over but um yeah I'm just excited to do that and hopefully next summer we'll get to spend that in California as well so that's kind of what's going on in my life and I guess I just wanted to share that I was going to California and I'm really excited and um I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it or not because, like, I don't know that you'd be interested in that. And, and even if you do, like, I don't know, like, people will probably stare at me and think that I'm, like, really crazy. But I guess that's what happens. Um, so, anyways, that, I just wanted to share that with you. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And I always say that, but I genuinely mean that. You know, like, I, especially if I, like, have connections with you or if I follow you on Twitter just because I haven't met you doesn't mean that I don't care. So like when I see that some of my friends like are sad about something, I just want to like send them a hug. So I genuinely do hope that you guys are doing well and wherever you are, that you are enjoying life and um, enjoying the coming season. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.